Now today, chat, we got to send a prayer for Kanye because this is getting more and more spookier. Now, we have a personal fitness trainer that manages Kanye West and many other celebrities. However, this individual, Harley, Harley Pasternick, threatens to institutionalize Kanye West back to Zombieland. Now, we have the text message exchange here, and it is a message from Harley sent to Kanye West. And it goes like this. I'm going to help you one of a couple of ways. First, you and I sit down and have a loving and open conversation. But you don't use cuss words. And everything that is discussed is based in fact. And not some crazy stuff that dumb friend of yours or you saw in a tweet. Now, chat, this is wild. <clears throat> Can you imagine a personal trainer? saying things like this, especially an individual who has trained so many high-profile celebrities, which we're going to get to that in a minute, you would think there would be a different level of professionalism, but there isn't. It's completely covered in a condescending, I have power over you kind of tone. Now, we move further, and it says, second option, I have you institutionalized again, Emph emphasis on again, because this same personal trainer had Kanye West institutionalized back in 2016. Here's a clip of that. Would you mind so we could just diffuse this and, you know, just quick statement, is, is he good? Thumbs up. How long have you trained Kanye? Sorry, guys. Cool. Sure, you can't say anything. Just is he okay? Do you know if he's uh, breathing? Is All that right. accurate? That is a psychiatric evaluation. It's just for precautions. How are you feeling? What, what would you want to say to him? Are you, is everyone else okay? Was there anyone else there? Right. Paramedics and the Los Angeles Fire Department rushed to the Hollywood home of his personal trainer. Someone called 911 and they rushed Jay to the Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center. This morning, new details are emerging about Kanye West's alleged mental state as he was rushed to the hospital. Ironically, the same place that Britney Spears and Amanda Bynes were put into 5150 holds. The doctor called 911 and said that Kanye was suffering a temporary psychosis uh, as a result of a lack of sleep and exhaustion. The doctor at the time was Michael Farzam. West was being treated for sleep deprivation when his doctor reportedly called 911 saying he was psychotic. Now, as you can see from that clip, he is not talking. The aura that's emanating from him kind of gives off that he's proud of it. So there's a heavy emph emphasis on institutionalized again, where they medicate the crap out of you and you go back to zombie land forever. Play date with the kids just won't be the same. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Now it gets even more spookier when Kanye West comes out with this tweet now, he says, what should be obvious by now is that I was raised to stand for my truth, regardless of the consequences. So I will say this again. I was mentally misdiagnosed and nearly drugged out of my mind to make me a manageable and well-behaved celebrity. And it's not like you can have his medical license revoked. He's not a doctor. He's a personal trainer, but a personal trainer that has military background in drugs that are not every day. Here's a clip of him saying that 
out of his own mouth. Lucky enough to have him as my graduate advisor. And the area of, that I was interested in was how drugs and food affect muscular performance. And well, when you say drugs, are that like performance enhancing drugs? Are they all, all just, kinds of drugs? Oh, right, okay. So, working for the military, I wasn't governed by the same laws that the typical person was, so I could look at the impact of certain drugs that are not, that are not everyday things. So, we looked at a drug called modafinil, okay. which was for narcoleptics. So, if you give a soldier this um, drug, uh, how long could they stay awake for without right. uh, having any health? detriment. <coughs> is, that, is that used now as a, one of these brain drugs? I've, I've, I've heard the name before somewhere. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's very interesting. Modafinil, it will keep you awake, but it's not a stimulant. Really? So if a special forces person has to stay awake for three nights waiting for the right opportunity to do whatever they have to do, we could give them modafinil and it would keep them alert. I did uh, research on a drug called acetazolamide, which is for use at high altitude so you don't get altitude sickness. Now, chat, <clears throat> once again, this is getting spooky. If you look at the long list of his clients, half of them <laughs> have, for lack of a better word, have become batshit crazy or was portrayed in the media as batshit crazy. Especially Britney Spears was portrayed that way when she was shaving her head having episodes live for the world to watch same with Amanda Bonds same with Kanye West and many others on his list of celebrity clients it's the craziest thing I've ever seen I never knew a personal trainer could have that much control over your life until this and this is why we got to pray for Kanye. I think he's exposing things that's behind the scenes to open our eyes to what really goes down in the industry. Now, of his many different list of clients, we have very famous names. We got Ariana Grande, Lady Gaga. We got Kim Kardashian. Who would have known? Who would have known? We got Kanye West. We got Will Ferrell. We got Rihanna, Megan Fox, Adam Levine, Alicia Keys. Now, when I saw Mac Miller, that raised my eyes, especially because we know about Mr. Harley Pasternick's profession and his career in drugs in the medical field. It's, this is spooky. This is spooky. When you see the list of the clients that he has, and when you see clients, especially like Jack Black, like, come on, man, I love Jack Black. But have we ever seen Jack Black lose weight? <laughs> These are things you gotta ask yourself. What kind of physical trainer really is this man? I don't really think he's, training people physically maybe just a legal drug prescriber a legal person to get your fix off from maybe um this is this is eerie i i had to share this this man has to be stopped this this is insane this is absolutely disgusting i i can't believe you could talk to one of your clients like that. Now, with everything, there's always two sides to every story. There's his side, there's the other person's side, and then there in the middle is the truth. Maybe Kanye said something that set him all the way off. Maybe he didn't have to say too much at all. But to have that much power to institutionalize people, to have Kanye after he gets institutionalized, go to the same hospital Britney Spears and Amanda Bynes went to. There's too many red flags. Chat in the comment section box below. I need to know all y'all thoughts about all of this crazy fiasco. Chat, we out of here. Gone.